Hello, Mike Bradley here. Hope you are doing well as always. And today, <laughs> I get to play a guitar which I guess is the closest I ever get to playing George Harrison's Telecaster. <laughs> A Telecaster which is all rosewood. Uh, this is the guitar again which is if you're a regular viewer you would have seen I did a video not long ago on this Eric Clapton replica guitar by a company called Eternal Guitars and Dave at Eternal Guitars has done a replica well this isn't really a replica this is an inspired by Telecaster of George Harrison's infamous Telecaster most famously used on the Let It Be um, recording sessions. Hopefully you've seen that documentary. If you haven't, I really recommend it. It's amazing. But on the album, he, a lot of it, he got this, this, well, I say this, he got a guitar like this from Fender. Um, and when <clears throat> Dave handed this to me, I was expecting it to be super, super heavy because obviously if you think rosewood and if a guitar is completely made of rosewood body, fingerboard and neck is going to be heavy so I was expecting to go whoa and it's super light and it is hollowed out so let me just do some sounds with the guitar straight away and then we can talk about the specs I'll probably put some uh, time stamps so you can hear but here's the guitar no pedals <laughs> Uh, so you can get a good little idea of it. And it's a really nice sounding guitar, right? So, net pick up. Middle, or oh, I say middle, bow pickups. And the bridge pickup. Can't help but do that kind of telly sound. So, first thoughts when playing this guitar, um, it's super light. I'm gonna guess, I need to check the specs, but I'm gonna say this is about seven pounds, maybe a smidge over. Um, so it's nice and light, and like I say, you can hear that hollow, hollow sound going on there. And then straight away I thought of the neck, um, where it's not, it's certainly not a big neck. It's, I would say actually medium, to thin, if, if anything. Well, I should say flat, it feels quite flat. 
Uh, if you're like me and not really a spec savvy guy, um, I understand it, of course, but I go more on feel and my initial thought straight away. So this certainly is not a baseball bat neck at all. It's got a nice bit of girth um, there, which gives it a bit of a handful, but the fingerboard feels quite flat, but obviously I know it's a 7.25 radius as well. So a very vintage vibe on that front. But yeah, it's a, a nice kind of flat feel and um, yeah, super, super easy to play, which is always good. And it's got a nice kind of acoustic quality to it, which is always a nice thing. It's a very musical sounding guitar. You kind of just want to sit and play a song on it. You want to you want to play some tunes on it as opposed to like you know shredding away, which of course you can do if you want. So let's talk about the specifications of this guitar and here's some cool close up pictures of it as well. So as I mentioned, it is an all rosewood body with a maple center line. So there's a bit of maple in the middle kind of sandwiched together there, which um, I suppose adds a nice little bit of a bright condiment to the guitar tone of the guitar. We have a two piece rosewood neck with real pearl dot inlays on the fingerboard. So the neck is a C profile neck and uh, like I say, it's it's a, it's a slim neck, definitely. It is not a chunky neck by any means. So uh, it's super, super friendly on the hands. And um, yeah, certainly not a struggle to play, which is the most important thing, because the neck is the most important part of the guitar, I think. The neck dimensions as well are 21.3 millimeters deep at the first fret to 22.7 millimeters deep at the 12th fret with a 7.25 radius with 6130 frets. And of course there are 21 frets on the guitar. The guitar is finished in a lovely nitro cellulose on the neck and fingerboard and body. And it's very, very lightly aged. And it's got a three ply pit guard as well. The bridge is a Goto ashtray with three curled steel saddles with a through body stringing. And the tuners are Age Shala Vintage Repo Split Post Tuners. And the pickups are made by Eternal Pickups and they're their hand wound 68 special set nickel covered neck pickup and white string wrap bridge unit, both aged to match the hardware. And we have a 250K volume and tone pots as well. Bye. 
Right, let's hear some more sound. So, at the moment I've been using just guitar and amp. Now if I hit this Wampler Tumblr to give it a bit of oomph. Sounds like a lovely telly on the bridge pickup. Both pickups together. Net pickup. Lovely. Nice, you put of uh, now I want to put a cheap screamer out of five. <laughs> no, it's got, it's um, it's not super super bitey. It's that like with with the hollowness, it's it's got the bite, but it's slightly just mellowed out a little bit. It's um, it's a softer bite <laughs> instead of a ah, it's a nice. <laughs> you, get what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's uh, you can feel yeah, you can feel the. A warm softness bite to it. These sh weird words guitar players use to try and describe sound, but um, hopefully you're you're understanding what I mean. It certainly feels that on the fingers and the hands when I'm playing. <laughs> I really wanted to put some more gain off, I put the tumblers on top of that. Yeah, it's uh... I kind of like it actually, not much gain, so this is back to the tumness.
like that. Yeah, this is the guitar where you don't want to be muddying it up with too much gain. It's a lovely guitar, it's a Telecaster. It's a Tele, it's a T-Type, whatever you want to call it. And um, having this all, I love doing that and just hearing that uh, hello, 40 Towers kind of thing. Um, but no, it's a lovely, like I say, it's a very musical guitar. It's something I don't necessarily want to do a load of lead on. Obviously in the, for the case of this video, I'm trying to do a bit of everything. But um, with this, you kind of, I feel I just want to, play a lot of chords and write a song with it or something like that, you know. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely, soft, musical guitar. Um, and that also is a great thing with having a few different guitars because they put you, I'm sure you're the same, you know, when you pick up a guitar, it makes you play in a certain way and you've got another guitar in your collection where it's like, oh, I play that way when I do that. I might play more bluesy or I might play more rock. You know, I haven't really gone straight into the, you know, country-esque ideas here, you know. It's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a cool musical sounding guitar, which I know that might sound funny, uh, sound funny uh, saying that because hopefully all guitars are musical, but this one I just kind of I just want to, you know, get some cool jangly sounds, put bass and drums down and all that kind of stuff, you know. So I'll put all the links below. Check out Eternal Guitars website. Um, Dave makes truly cracking, amazing guitars. Uh, I've never played a bad guitar of his. Uh, and I'm being truly honest when I say that. Um, they're lovely. And this is no exception. So, um, yeah. The George inspired. So I wouldn't say this is a replica of George Harrison's T-Type because his would have been, you know, probably about £10, probably. Um, but uh, it's certainly a lovely tribute and a nod to the head and the guitar is called George for obvious reasons. Anyway. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. It's always good to hear. And I've been Mike Bradley, you've been you. And I will see you in the next video. Mike Bradley very much signing out. Bye!